This episode is brought to you by the Tendies Investing app. Use the link pinned to the top comment so you could get what's important. I'm talking about access to information. When you're buying stocks, when you're buying options, guess what? A lot of the time, the big dogs, the whales, they are killing you in this game because they have access to information that you do not have. This is why people are willing to pay $40 a month, $350 a month for the same resources that Tendies is offering for free. And when I look at it here, you can connect your brokers to it. What kind of brokers? They got a list. They said Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Robinhood, Webull, many more. You connect your broker to it and what it does is it allows you to see how the big dogs are playing your particular stocks over there. So what I want you to do is connect your broker, download the link. There are many people who are on Apple who can go get the app, but my people on Android, you can download the web version and still have access to this information for free, baby. I see you over there. There's no need to delay. And again, let's filter out the noise and let's get the Tendies app link to the top comment. But without further ado, this is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven miss, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. We got to talk about AMC Entertainment. And at the time of this recording, AMC, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what time it is when we talk about AMC. It's just the way that it goes. Put an ape in the chat so the gorillas know where you at, baby. If you're AMC ape, put an ape in the chat. Here we go. AMC is currently $22 a share. It's down 6% on a day. It's up 28% on a week. And on the past year, it's still down 32%. But just know, in the last month, it's been crushing it and the short sellers have been getting smoked. Now, we got to talk about something very important. And that's this. It's the ape AMC preferred equity units that are coming out that you're going to get them if you own amc at a minimum i would say between august 15th or even now right the ones that you get you're going to get a one for one amc and eight preferred unit you're going to get it now understand this this is the reason i made this video today some people are talking about selling out of their ape and then using that money to buy into amc now again when you think about this you ask yourself why would people be selling are people shills are people just fake and they made all these different kind of things i'll tell you what i'm doing close to the end of the video i want you to hear adam aaron speak on this who is the ceo of amc so then we can understand why people have these fears and then i'll let you know my take on it at the end of the video whether or not i'm selling my ape shares so let's go over here and let's hear from the horse's mouth and then i'll explain it in detail so even a five-year-old can understand the fears that some people have you let me know if you think the fears are justified or unjustified again i keep it real i keep it raw i tell you the good the bad the ugly and i'm being a messenger baby and i got you back on this one so i'll explain my side of this at the end of the video check it out well in our case uh you'll get one preferred uh ape unit and the common share for the old common share. So uh, that doesn't raise any cash for the company. That just puts apes into circulation in the hands of our shareholders. Having said that, the authorization that we received from shareholders back in 2013 is that we could theoretically, not that we ever would, but we could theoretically issue up to 5 billion of these things. Now, it would, it would be foolish to do that. The market wouldn't support that. Uh, our did you hear what he just said? Let me fix my mic, family. He just said this, Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC. He said that they could technically issue 5 billion of those units. What does that mean? I want you to understand dilution. And it doesn't mean that they are going to dilute AMC. This means that they have the ability to dilute APE, the AMC preferred equity units. Let's explain that simply. And then we'll get to the next section of this video. Now, imagine that you own AMC shares, and let's say that it's worth $10, and let's say that this piece of this notepad, this little piece of paper, is worth, this is all the AMC shares added up. And let's keep it simple, round numbers, keep it real simple, so a five people can understand dilution. AMC is worth $10 in this case. Every single share added all up. But guess what? It's just this one piece of paper that represents the whole value, the whole $10. What if we throw something else in, and we keep the same total value? The ten dollars so now this ten dollars is 100 percent of all of the shares let's throw ape in so we got amc and we also got ape so now guess what they're gonna have to split that when you add them up together it's supposed to add up to ten dollars so now in this case you know what you're getting an ape share or ape unit for free so your ownership is going to be the exact same so now you got 50 percent amc and basically 50 percent ape and it still adds up to the 10. now this is where the dilution comes in 
And keep in mind, you cannot dilute AMC. They're not going to let that happen, right? The shareholders will have to vote on that. They're not going to do it. But they can dilute the ape. The value, the $10 is going to stay the same. So right now, we got $5 and $5. The overall value is still 10 But then when we add in another ape, then guess what? Now we're starting to dilute ape. But it does kind of impact the people who are already in AMC in this case, right? Why? Because the overall value of the whole system is going to be about exactly the same. So then you would have one third, one third, and one third. So what if you owned at this stage where we're 50 and 50, what if you owned half, you own $5, and now somebody else owned the other half, they own $5 like me, for example, and then they throw in another piece. Now at this stage, we have diluted APE, which kind of impacted the entire system, but AMC will be using that money to try to help the company. This is what they're saying. This is what Adam Aaron is saying, but this is why people are being fearful. I'm not trying to put fear into you, but I want you to understand what's going on in simple terms. People are afraid that Ape is going to get diluted and it's going to impact the whole system of AMC and Ape together. And Adam Aaron just threw out a number saying that they have the ability to do 5 billion. Keep in mind, at first, they're only going to do 516 million Ape units. But they have the ability to do 5 billion, which is significantly more than 5 million, 500 million, right? So now in this case, people are afraid. They're saying they're going to sell their ape and they're going to put it over an AMC. Personally, I am going to hold on to my ape and my AMC. I did not put money in this that I wasn't willing to lose. So then I got the diamond hands on this one. You do not have to be like that, but I want you to understand this totally. If you appreciate what I'm saying to you right here and how I'm not sugarcoating it and I'm keeping it real, keeping it raw, hit the like button for me, family. That shows me that you appreciate the video. Now, Adam Aaron has some more to say about how he feels about doing that dilution in the first place. Check this out. Let me move my mic over too. I know I knocked the camera earlier, but let me move the mic over so then this makes sense to you and you can hear it well. Check this out. Is I think that we've proven that back in January of 2021, when we were issuing shares, our share price went up. Back in May and June, when we issued shares, our share price went up. When we stopped issuing shares in July of 2021, our share price started a gradual decline. And I think we've been able to make the case to our shareholders that this new class of preferred stock, it's in their interest, it's in the company's interest. And as you can see, the market reaction to our announcement has been very positive. Adam, we're getting some up. So now, with that being said, you gotta understand that he sees this, being able to use these shares adding in more, which people are saying dilution, he sees this as a net benefit to the company fundamentally. Remember, many people are in the play for the short squeeze, Moaz, right? Mother of all short squeezes to make the market fair. Adam Aaron as a CEO, he's in it to strengthen the company, pay employees more, pay down some of that debt. AMC has a lot of debt. This is what he's in it for. And he's showing you with the shareholder that he's looking for the long-term growth, not just a short squeeze play. And then everyone just lets it go, right? So this is how he's looking at it. Personally, how I'm looking at it is I want to be able to say, okay, do I have money in this that I'm willing to lose? Am I diamond hand in this? I already have a plan set out, right? I didn't overextend myself. So then with my eight shares that I get to, I'm going to diamond hand those the same way that I'm doing with the AMC shares. You do not have to. You make your own decisions, right? But I'm always going to tell you the truth and I'm not going to try to hide it from you or sugarcoat it from you. Now, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. If you appreciate me keeping it real, keeping it raw, you got to let me know by hitting a like button and putting a gorilla in the chat, family. That lets me know that what I'm doing here is exactly what you need. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.